Hey guys, I'm Jeremy Ashburn and I've got Julia Fossum here. Hey Julia. Hey Jeremy. So today we're actually just asking her some of the questions that her clients usually ask her. And uh, what would you say the main question people ask about your florals? Well, this is a different um, technique. And so when you come into my studio, you'll see lots of different styles that I do. And so I work with beeswax and damar and pigment. But the, the, what I use for this is I start with 10 layers of wax and then I paint with ink. And then I burn some of the ink off and I paint more ink on, then I burn some off. And then I finish it with the last coat of beeswax with damar to protect it. But this is a technique that um, I started doing because I was had a large commission to do. I had a four foot by three foot commission that somebody had asked me to do. And I wanted to tighten up my my florals. I wanted to make sure that I had something a little more wispy. And, and I wanted I wanted stem wear. I didn't want them to be in vases and they were always in vases. And I thought, well, that's kind of weird. I didn't like it because it was like a blob of vase. So I wanted to have some kind of stem wear to it. So then I started just kind of experimenting with all different types of inks and paints and I ended up with this style um, and since then it's been very popular and this particular one is the one that didn't make it. Um, my commission process is that I do two. If you want one I do two because as much as you don't think you know what you want you know you don't want it when you see it. Mm -hmm. So I always do too. If you're spending that much money on something you should have a choice. I feel like it's important that you have a choice because it's going to be yours and hanging in your wall. So I want you to be really happy with it. So I'll do two very similar ones and then you can have the choice. So this is the one that didn't go mm -hmm. um, with the family. But the beautiful thing about this is that the ink is reactive and I can put different colors in different places and it'll react. It'll create a different look and the buds are just so, um, they're just delicious because they're so tiny but they've got a lot to them. And then this inside interior area where you can create little teeny, um, you know, new blossoms or new buds um, are, are kind of hidden. And someone re referred to this as Bill the Cat. Um, from the cartoon, um, is that Gary Trudeau? Or do we, it's one of the Trudeaus, anyway. Mm -hmm. They build a cat because it's like, ah, because it's all wispy and kind of crazy. But these have been extremely popular, and now that I pretty much just do them by commission. Mm -hmm. And um, I have prints available for most of them. It, it kind of looks like a cross between watercolor and, like, you know, pen and ink. Yes. And, yes. And a lot of people actually think they're watercolor, especially the printed ones. They look like watercolor because they're done on watercolor paper. Um, but I think it's because it's so liquid looking mm -hmm. that it, um, it does look like a watercolor because the color is so vibrant. Mm -hmm. And then it's protected by that last coat of wax, which is really nice. And does the last coat of wax make it pop a little bit? Like, just, it seems like, because obviously in video, you can't tell the same way when you're in person, but it really just pops right off the canvas. I like think it, it creates a little subtlety to it, mm -hmm. um, but it also creates more of a three-dimensional component to it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, they're fabulous. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Now, if you want to see more, just go to juliafonson.com. Um, you can reach her through social media or call her, email her. Um, just don't wake her up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. All right, thanks a lot.